Business means we are joined by Yuka Roya here in the studio. Very good evening to you, as always. Pleasure to see you. Hi, Mark. Uh, there's been some major breakthroughs uh, today uh, in uh, the issue of uh, robotics. Yeah, over the last couple of weeks, actually, humanoid robots especially, uh, they have been around for a while now, but... Artificial intelligence has taken humanoids to a new level, which seemed like science fiction only a few years ago. Last month, a US company, One X Home Robots, introduced its Neo robot, billed as the first robot that can do house chores. It's powered by large language models, and the user can verbally ask it to do the washing up, fold clothes, or water the plants. It's set to go on sale next year, although, according to the Wall Street Journal, it would still require human intervention before becoming fully uh, aut automated. Last week, Chinese electric car company Xpeng unveiled its latest iron robot. It moved so smoothly the company had to cut open one of its legs to prove that there wasn't a real human hiding inside. After this, Elon Musk said Tesla and China would dominate the market. His EV company is also developing a humanoid called Optimus, with Musk saying 80% of the company's future, uh, future value could come from it. Now, for more on just how rapidly this new market is de developing, uh, let's bring in Mark Minovich, strategic partner at Mayfield and founder of the AI for the Planet Alliance with the United Nations. Thank you so much for joining us, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you for, uh, for having me. Now, robots have been around for decades, ever since automation began. Why is there a lot of attention now on humanoid robot robots? thank you very much i think we entered a new chapter of human progress a few years ago as you mentioned humanoid robots were just very clumsy they were working in labs and research today they walk they grasp their reason they combine agentic ai they combine the generative ai they're powered by the same agentic ai models that have revolutionized and transformed us already large language models, I mean, and also they provide creativity. And by the way, I've written recently the humanoid era has arrived. In, indeed, this is a moment we are all accustomed to looking at the screens, digital intelligence, right? But now this digital intelligence becomes physical form. AI is literally stepping into the real world. So it's coming into the real world right now. So are we finally getting our own C3POs uh, produced for the mass market? Well, I think it's uh, certainly not a gimmick. Uh, I think it's a very pragmatic choice. Uh, the world we built right now, as uh, you've been discussing, it's about tools, it's about spaces, it's about workflows. It was made for humans. And robot in a human form is going to fit instantly for us. It's really made for us. As you mentioned, it could open doors. It could climb stairs now. It could use medical equipment. People who are elderly are going to depend on it. We're already seeing it in Japan. Uh, or even assist uh, people who are going to redesign entire environments. So I think the universally right now, globally, humanoids is the natural progression and the natural interface between real humans like us, uh, real uh, carbon humans, and silicon form, which is AI. So it's a natural progression. So has the advance advancement of AI been a game changer here then? Well, of course, uh, we have all have witnessed ChatGPT come alive in 2022, November. It was an incredible moment for all of us. And of course, and now the, the systems, the reasoning models become very, very intelligent uh, using LLMs. But more than that, Agentic AI, which is the system which is not only just uh, there to give us information or give us insights, it's there to actually act, to do something. And I think combining the agentic power and combining the compute power coming from NVIDIA and another place, but primarily from NVIDIA, the chipsets, the compute is going to allow us to actually make those physical AI, humanoid robots, to do things almost like humans. They're going to be able to decipher, they'll make decisions, they'll have better perception. And now with humanoid robots that Elon Musk has presented to the world, Optimus, have excellent dexterity. Dexterity that is going to, at some point, match the human, the human arm uh, in a way. And of course, they are leveraging massive compute power. So I do believe this is the future. So Tesla, there's Tesla there. And there's also China that's emerging as a dominant player here. Well, thank you so much. Uh, that's, I'm afraid that's all yeah. we have time for for now. But thank you so much yeah. for joining us again. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I just want to make uh, the point that it's Tesla, Figure AI, Agility, China, Xpunk Robotics, 
uh, Norwegians are coming. And you're right, the competition is a massive. It's not only mechanical, it's cognitive. The winners are going to be the ones, like you mentioned, will have the best physical AI, the smartest agentic brains, robust data infrastructure. It's coming from the United States and China. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Physical AI, Mark. Physical AI. You have me at Next uh, big the, thing. You have me at the robot that could do the housework. That would be <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Put me down for three of those. Yuka, thank you very much indeed. Yuka back with more business, of course, as we go through the evening.